Yeah. She did what? She forged the seller's signature. In this video, I'm gonna give you 10 reasons why you shouldn't get your real estate license. What's up everybody, Steve with Steve Invest. Since 2002, I've had my real estate license and since 2006, I've been a broker and owner of a real estate firm here in Southwest Florida. I've worked with thousands of real estate agents and I've seen a ton of successes and a ton of failures. So let's dive into the 10 reasons why you should not get a real estate license. Number one, the odds are against you. It's estimated that 87% of real estate agents fail. They fail out of the business and it's estimated they fail within the first six months of being in business. Number two is the lack of self-discipline. Look, this industry is demanding that you stick to a schedule. It's demanding that you do repetitive things on a regular basis to ensure that your business grows and thrives. It's, it's the discipline that you need to prospect on a regular basis, to market on a regular basis, and to reach out to so many people on a regular basis. Number three, the ups and the downs. There are so many times when I've had real estate agents call me up and say, Steve, this deal fell apart or wherever the case is, and they're real down and out about it. But what they don't do and they need to start doing is reflecting on the deals that they just did. You know, Reflect on the deal that just paid you $11,000 commission check. So a lot of people don't really reflect on the successes. They just look on the, the immediate failures that they've had. Number four, no consistent paycheck. Look, when I was in college, I was working for Red Bull and I had a, a nice job getting a consistent paycheck every two weeks and it was comfortable. I really enjoyed that, but I decided to take, take the risk of going full time into real estate and then I realized quickly it was all on me. It was what I was gonna do on a regular basis to basically feed myself. And uh, the, the unfortunate thing is a lot of people don't get that paycheck they get a serious discomfort level and then they go right back to the job that they were at to have that security blanket. Number five, liability. I've seen so many real estate agents do stupid shit over the years. Per that clip right in the beginning, that was a real situation. Yes, you've heard it. A real estate agent didn't have power of attorney to sign on the behalf of a seller and they signed and initial certain terms on the seller's behalf. Unfortunately, many times they need the money from that deal, so they'll do whatever it takes to make that transaction happen, whether or not it's good for their clients. Number six, too emotional. Many times real estate agents, frankly, are just too emotional. They're too emotional within the transaction and they can't really put that aside to basically transact that real estate deal. So it's either they're too emotional or their egos are out of control. And many times, and I've seen it hundreds of times, that the real estate agent and their emotions take over and ultimately kill the real estate transaction. Number seven, part time without a plan. I've interviewed a lot of real estate agents over the years and I can tell you, I asked them why do they get their real estate license and I usually hear two common themes. The number one theme is they love looking at houses. The second thing is they heard from a friend or a family member that, wow, you have a great personality, you should be a real estate agent. At the end of the day, that's just an idea. It's an idea that's partially implemented. They get their real estate license and they're not committed to going into full time and realize that there's a huge lack of focus. Number eight, focus. It's a good, good acronym. Write this down. Follow one course until successful. Real estate agents are like squirrels. They see a niche market, they're gonna jump on it. They see the, another niche market, they're gonna jump on it. There are many niche markets in the real estate industry and they just get sidetracked because they get an email from some sort of marketing company that is gonna make them the best real estate agent in this type of niche. Now I'm not saying it's bad for real estate agents to try out different niches, but unfortunately the masses will never focus in and stick to one niche. Number nine, learning curve. Look, at the end of the day, any industry is gonna have a learning curve. Any, uh, any job is gonna have its own learning curve. Real estate at the end, of the end of the day is a simple business, but what a lot of real estate agents don't understand when they're getting their real estate license or once they've received their real estate license is this is sales. Sales is gonna require amount of effort in terms of working on your dialogue and the questions that you're gonna ask and objection handlers and so forth. So don't underestimate the position. The position is sales. And number 10, 
market changings and adapting. As mentioned previously, I've been in the industry since 2002 and I've been through different market cycles. In 2008, I saw a lot of real estate agents go out of business as well as entire brokerages. It was almost eerie to see and coming into 2020, I think we're gonna get a taste of that again. And now if our market does go into a recession, real estate agents have to adapt. They have to be doing short sales, learn everything they can about short sales. They have to learn about listing REOs, foreclosure properties. They have to maybe transition into doing property management and leasing out properties for investors that they sold properties to that cannot sell it, you know, in a down market. Look, the reason for this video is I think too many people get their real estate licenses for the wrong reasons. Too many people get their real estate licenses because they don't even know why they got their real estate licenses. The reason for this video is I want you, if you are contemplating on getting your real estate license, to really go back through these 10 steps and figure out how you're going to combat those uh, those items that really push people out of the business. You can be a success in the real estate industry, but you have to have a plan. You have to have focus. You have to work the industry correctly. If you got value out of this video, I got a playlist for you guys. I'll put the link down below. I appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.